These are the Splits 59 flare leggings from Revolve. So just because. Welcome back to the channel. I've been running around like crazy this morning because I had a few appointments in the Upper East Side. I Not even a few, just one. I had a doctor's appointment in the Upper East Side. And so I had to head up there this morning and on the way back down, I decided to treat myself to a coffee. This is, that kind of hurt. This is Blank Street Coffee. I got a iced honey rose latte with whole milk. Doing whole milk today, guys, instead of oat milk. Shout out to Hannah Mowdy. She is a huge YouTuber. If you guys don't know who she is, she has like almost a million subscribers, I think. But I love her videos and I've been watching her videos for years. But she recently moved to New York and I think she lives in the East Village area. But I'm honestly not entirely sure. Don't quote me on that. But she was talking about Blank Street in her video the other day, which is a coffee shop that has, it's kind of like a chain in New York. There's a few locations, but I don't know if you could technically call it a chain. But she was saying that if you download their app, you get a free coffee and I didn't know that and I've gone to Blank Street before and actually really liked it but I've only been to the Williamsburg location so I decided to download their app to treat myself to a free coffee so that's how I ended up with an ice honey rose latte this is the name I tried it once already and I don't know if I like it if I'm being completely honest I think that it may be it's just a little bit too rosy for my liking but we're gonna try it again Okay, yeah, I don't think I like this. It's not the coffee taste itself because the coffee taste itself is really good, but it's the rose. That tastes like some sort of like facial spray or facial mist. It tastes like a little bit too close to the actual smell of a rose, if that makes any sense. So I think I might have to make my own coffee at home. At least this was free, you know? So it's not like I spent $6 to get a coffee that I don't like. It was free, but I don't think I like this. And I'm kind of sad that I wasted like my free drink on this. So if you guys live in New York, you download the app, you're getting a free coffee. Don't get this one. This one is not good. <laughs> no bueno. I didn't like this. I should have just gotten like an iced vanilla latte or something. So now I need to make my own, but that's okay because we love Nespresso around here. So Nespresso is not a bad default to resort back to. Also, while the coffee's cooling off, I wanted to show you guys these pants that I've been obsessed with, or I guess leggings. These are the Splits, what is it, the Splits 59? Is that the name of it? These are the Splits 59 flare leggings from Revolve, and these are probably like the most flattering pair of leggings that I currently own, and I love the fact that they're flare. They kind of feel like Lululemon quality, and they're definitely the same price as Lululemon. This isn't like a dupe by any means, but I am a big fan. I got the recommendation from Danielle Carolyn. She was talking about Splits 59 a few months back, and these have been out of stock on Revolve, but I was able to snag a pair the other day, and I am just obsessed with how flattering they are. I feel like they really suck me in in the waist and make my butt look good, and then I love the fact that they are kind of tight around the calf and then flare out at the bottom. I just think that they are really really cute and so worth the price so i'll have them linked down below like i said they've been sold out for a little bit so hopefully by the time that i link it they'll be restocking it or it'll still be in stock because i think that last time i checked which was last night they were still in stock so fingers crossed but i am such a big fan of these they are so comfy and i know that flare leggings are like back in style right now and i just think that this would be so cute in the spring or summer on the cooler days with like a tank top and your hair up in a pony and shoes, gold jewelry, kind of like what I have going on now. I just think that it's kind of a vibe and such a cute look. This may be a better way of seeing what they look like, but they have like the thick waistband, they're pretty high rise, and they kind of like curve in. You can't see it because they're on my body, but off of the body when they're just in the closet you can kind of see that they the waistband kind of is smaller than the hip area which is really flattering because i have some curves and i know a lot of people have some curves so it just makes your body look so good and the butt look good and like i said favorite part is the flare 
I like the fact that they're just not regular like straight Lululemon leggings because I have a million pairs of those. I like the fact that they're kind of fun and quirky and they look so good with just tennis shoes for like a little athleisure outfit. So like I said, I'm going to have these linked down below. You guys should definitely check them out or add them to your wish list because Splits 59, definitely worth the hype. I am such a big fan now. I want to get like more of these, maybe in different colors. I know they have like a navy color and a cream pair maybe. I don't know how the cream would go over well because I spill everything, but I feel like the navy could be really cute. All right, multitasking grays because the new episode came out last night and I'm working off to the right, obviously not going to show my laptop. But guys, I'm trying to make the starbucks bacon gouda and egg sandwich but at home i bought ciabatta rolls from trader joe's last night i didn't even know they really sold them and then i found gouda cheese but it's smoked gouda and then i already had turkey bacon and eggs in my fridge so i'm gonna go ahead and try this but if this tastes even like remotely similar to the starbucks bacon gouda and egg sandwich that i'm personally obsessed with this is a game changer, for sure. I'm gonna do a taste test on camera. Wow, my hair is really stunning today. She's a beauty queen. I'm nervous, because the honestly, the Gouda, the smoked Gouda kind of smells weird. It doesn't taste like the Starbucks sandwich, but it's not, like, bad. It's actually pretty good. I also forgot to mention that I seasoned the egg whites with everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's, but... Doesn't taste like the Starbucks sandwich, but it's still pretty good. I would definitely recommend. Like I said, it's just the ciabatta roll. I got like a pack of them from Trader Joe's. Smoked Gouda from Trader Joe's, turkey bacon, and egg whites. And I feel like it's semi-healthy for you. Obviously, ciabatta roll and Gouda cheese is like not the best for you. But I feel like subbing it for egg whites and turkey bacon kind of makes it a little bit healthier. And it's a pretty good breakfast sandwich if I do have to say so myself. I just got back from a walk outside. I'm so hot. It is insanely nice out today. I think it's like 50 degrees right now, but in the sun, it literally feels like it's like 65, 70. And I could have spent literally all day outside if I wasn't working, but I just took my, my little lunch break and decided to get some fresh air. You know, gotta do the hot girl walk thing. It's a trend, but it actually works. And I feel like it helps me mentally just clear my head and get out of my apartment. So I'm a big fan of when the weather's nice. Also, random other thing that I'm a big fan of right now is zip ups. I used to hate zip ups when I was little because whenever you like zip up a zip up sweatshirt, I didn't like the crease in the middle, but I'm a big fan of wearing these and just leaving them open with a tank top underneath now. This one is from Calvin Klein. I've had this for years, so I probably won't be able to link it but i can link a similar dupe from like amazon amazon has really cheap zip ups but i really like this style for spring just wearing a basic tank top like this with leggings or jeans or shorts or something like that and wearing like a colored or plain zip up over it personally a big fan of the gray zip up because it matches everything but i feel like that's such a cute little athleisure look for spring so i'll have a dupe linked below from Amazon because I feel like Amazon has such good dupes and it's cheap and they have fast shipping so it's like the best of all worlds you know I just got in a package from my parents I think it has to do with Easter I'm pretty sure my mom said that I could open it I'm gonna double check her text actually fun fact my birthday is actually on Easter this year which I think has happened once or twice in my life before but my birthday is April 17th for those of you that don't know and Sometimes it falls on Easter, sometimes it doesn't fall on Easter, and this year it falls directly on Easter Sunday. So I'm sharing my 25th birthday with the Easter Bunny, which, I mean, it is what it is. It's not like it's a super, like, monumental birthday. I guess 25 is monumental. Like, I'm officially allowed to have a quarter-life crisis if I want, and it's acceptable, but... Oh, also I can rent a car, but that's just about all that comes out of my 25th birthday, besides the fact that I feel old even though i know i'm not but i just feel like old i'll open this up on camera with you guys it was kind of heavy so i have no clue what's in it oh so just because oh we have a little starbucks gift card i you guys know my starbucks obsession is out of hand 
Whoa, these are heavy. Oh, it's a candle. Lime and ginger scented candle to reboot the senses. Coconut wax blend Sonoma. Oh wow, this smells so good. This smells like a very specific scent that none of you guys will understand, but at home we have house cleaners that come like every two or three weeks and whenever they leave the house at home always smells like this like my house in virginia big fan of that one and next ooh. i feel like this might be broken okay yeah this one's broken so i'm gonna be careful this was another candle but unfortunately it shattered in the shipping process but it was the same brand and it's the Calm Eucalyptus and Bergamot scented candle to ease senses. And it smells really good. There's just glass everywhere, so I'm gonna have to throw it away, but that was so sweet. If my mom is watching this, thanks mom, also dad. <laughs> but that was really sweet. I'll have the texture. I wanna know how <laughs> USPS managed to shatter this candle this badly. I'm gonna show you guys just because it's not like it's in one, like split in half or just one little crack. Like they shattered the whole candle. How the heck did they manage to do that? Like it is completely shattered. That is insane. They must have really manhandled this box, but this candle turned out fine. So this one made it. This one has seen better days. I'm disappointed that the candle shattered, but I am impressed at how much they managed to shatter this candle because that is insane. I have been slacking on the schoolwork big time this week. Sorry for this lighting, my face is. It's better if I back myself up against the wall. I have been seriously slacking on the schoolwork this week. My motivation, like I just talked about, I don't know, actually, well, that was a different vlog. I, my motivation just, just blah, blah, blah. My motive, my motivation, there we go, English has been really lacking this week and honestly for the past few weeks I just feel so unmotivated. I think one, it has a lot to do with the weather and I blame the weather for everything but I think that the weather really does influence your mood so much so when it's like rainy outside, cold, dreary, it makes me not want to do anything and I just want to like crawl in bed and watch movies all day or read a book. I don't want to like work or anything but I've just been feeling so unmotivated and unproductive lately and I think it's been like affecting my mental health and work and school so I've just like been slacking on school this week I literally haven't even done my assignment this two Sunday I'm just now drafting it and I feel like I don't even know what I'm doing at this point also this class is just not engaging me my last class which was strategy was hard and the professor was really tough and annoying like I ranted about in a few vlogs back but at least it was engaging content and I was actually I actually felt like I was learning something with this course I just don't really feel like I am learning anything that I'm gonna use and it's kind of sad because I was excited for it because it's integrated technology and I really like learning about technology and tech because that was the main focus of my previous job that I was doing before this new one so I really into it because I know a lot about it I guess but this course is just not engaging and while it's nice that the workload is really really light I feel like when the workload is light and there's not a lot of work to do I'm less engaged in the class and like less motivated so that's where I've been with this class and I think that's why I'm I'm mainly struggling in this class not struggling grade wise I am just struggling like motivation wise and I just don't feel like doing any of the work because I'm not like I just don't care not that I don't care, that's a bad phrase to use. I just am unbothered by it, I guess. I don't really have a motivation to do it. So that's where I'm at, but because it's due Sunday, I really need to work on it today or else I'm gonna be stuck doing it all day on Sunday because I have plans tomorrow. So I just wanna get it done. I, you guys know I like having my weekends to myself and weekends to explore the city and hang out with my boyfriend and my friends. So when I don't do my work during the week and I have to do it on the weekends, it really is a drag and that's all I think about all weekend and it stresses me out so I want to at least get the rough draft done today and if anything I can do the final draft or the final review on Sunday and then submit it Sunday but I want the core of the work and like the majority of the work to be done today so that's what I'm getting ready to work on now I feel like I have the darkest circles under my eyes but it is a lot later I just went to dinner obviously with 
boyfriend he's sitting over there and we're back now we're getting ready to go to a little bar but i forgot to give my outfit of the night so i'm gonna do that now this is the outfit this top i'm obsessed with i just got it from revolve and it is so cute i think that this little cutout is super unique and i just think it's really fun i have like a completely different outfit planned for this shirt but i think for like the night out this is like very casual and fun so obviously this top is from revolve like i said i got this in an extra small it's super super stretchy so i'd recommend downsizing by like two sizes or so and then these jeans are from abercrombie they're the jeans that i wear all the time and then i'm wearing my platform converse i was wearing heels earlier but we're getting ready to go to a bar so i don't want to have to stand in heels all night obviously so i changed that into bar shoes he's just like fully bumping over there but yeah like i said we're gonna go to a bar i think we're gonna go to the blind barber it is a speakeasy in the east village that is a barber shop during the day but it has a bar behind it at night like i said it's called the blind barber so i guess the name is kind of obvious it gives it away but i have heard of it and i've never been and i think that we're just looking for like a chill dancey vibey speakeasy kind of night so i think we're getting ready to head there but i wanted to show you guys my outfit of the night before because i kind of forgot i was vlogging i'm like the worst and didn't film my outfit of the night before dinner and also really didn't film dinner i got a few clips as you guys saw from my iPhone, but I wanted to definitely tell you guys what was up before we end up going out for the rest of the night. That is the current status. I'm gonna go back into here, entertain him. I came into my room and shut the door in hopes that I wouldn't get copyrighted by the music that he's playing in the background, but honestly, you might be able to hear it and I still may be copyrighted for this, so just keep your fingers crossed for me, honestly. We shall see. All right, I'm bringing you guys into the next day with me since I dropped off last night. Last night was a lot of fun. We went to a restaurant called 11B, which was like a bring your own booze type of situation. We brought a bottle of wine to split. We had some pizza and then we went to a bar that was next door to it called Maiden Lane and we just had like one glass there and then we went back to my apartment and hung out. But today is Saturday. We just went and got coffee at The Roost, which is i don't think i shared the roost before but it's a really cute coffee shop in the east village and now we're getting ready to head over to williamsburg because we're gonna go to smorgasburg smorgasburg is like a food festival thing that new york does i think there's also one in miami too and la where's the other one it's miami and what is it la i think so i'm thinking okay i think it might be california i'm not really sure but the ones in new york are back and there's one in williamsburg and one in jersey city so we're going to the one in williamsburg today but figured I'd bring you guys along with me because I feel like it could be fun. I've never been before, but I've heard good things and I've heard they have really good food. So I am looking forward to it. I'm back at my boyfriend's apartment, clearly not my decor. And just wanted to give you guys a little update. So we didn't end up doing Smorgasburg, Smorgasburg because Turns out it's not in Williamsburg until June, so we misread that. It's actually in Fidei today, and Fidei is kind of like a hike from Williamsburg. We'd have to take the L and then transfer to like the Q or something like that and then take it down. Basically, moral of the story was that it was just not going to happen today, so maybe we'll try again next weekend or something of that sort, but we end up going to Juliet's for like a brunch lunch situation instead, which is like a really, really cute restaurant cafe in Williamsburg would highly recommend if you guys come over here to go to Juliet's they also have a bar that's open at night a rooftop bar and I've never been to that but that is on the list of places I want to go as well it was really good food was yummy then we were just walking around for a little bit we stopped into some flea markets some thrift stores and now we are back it is raining outside currently or just started raining as we were heading back to the apartment to sit down for a minute so I'm unsure what we're doing next I think or I thought we were going to go walk down by the river for a little bit since it the wind is chilled out and it's a little warmer out. But now that it's raining, I just don't think that that's going to happen. It's been a good day. And then I have dinner plans at 6.30 in Nomad. So I'm going to have to go back to the East Village eventually to change into like a dinner bar outfit. I don't know if we're going out after, but definitely like a more dinner appropriate outfit. And then go from there. <laughs> Oh, 
Fun fact, Jay Beeps lives in this building apparently. Just got back to my apartment from Brooklyn and I'm gonna chill out for a little bit before I go to dinner. I'm like actually so tired. But I just got a package from Liquid IV so I figured I'd unbox it with you guys. Liquid IV was kind enough to actually send me some of their PR and I have a discount code with them. So if you guys want any of the Liquid IV products, I will have my code in the description of this video. It's like something but you get 20% off of whatever you order which is really really nice you guys know that i've been buying liquid iv on my own for literally so long so when they reached out and asked to send me some of their products i like freaked out i was like um yes i love you guys so first of all we have the lemon lime flavor which you guys know this is my favorite flavor because it tastes like the yellow green gatorade which is the best then we have some acai berry which i'm excited to try we have the pina colada flavor which i'm excited to try but i'm also kind of scared to try the pina colada flavor because i just don't know what it's going to taste like and then we have the strawberry flavor which i think i'm going to try this one today like right now literally because i feel like i'm so dehydrated from the day i've literally only had like coffee and one meal so i need some hydration honestly this package came in at the right time so thank you liquid iv if you guys are watching this video for sending me over this package i'm literally so excited for this and like i said i'll have my code linked down below in the description of this video if you guys want to try any of their products i'm actually going to go ahead and make one of these we're gonna go ahead and make the strawberry one Okay, I'm gonna try out the strawberry flavor. I just put it in my Big Yeti with some ice. Ooh, this might be my new favorite one. Wow, okay. If you guys do end up ordering, which I got it wrong before, I just looked up the, like my discount code and it's 25% off, which is such a good deal. I feel like most places, when they do discount codes, it's like 15 to 20% off, but this one is 25%, so if you guys want to try liquid IV, I would recommend the lemon lime flavor or the strawberry flavor. I really want to try the pina colada one. I'm not going to try it today. I'm also kind of scared of it. So I need to try it on a day that I'm willing to be brave. But I am intrigued to see if it actually tastes like pina colada. They also just came out with a new flavor that I'm intrigued about. I think it's cotton candy. I, just to be completely honest, don't know how I feel about the fact that it's cotton candy flavor. But I feel like if you have little ones... That it's such a good way to get your little ones to drink water because it's almost as if they're drinking cotton candy but or like eating cotton candy but they're drinking water and it helps hydrate them so honestly shout out to liquid iv for that marketing technique because i feel like that's perfect for little kids especially little kids that don't like to drink water so i'm gonna sip on this i'm gonna edit some well first of all i need to clean up my kitchen but i'm gonna sip on this clean up my kitchen and then i'm gonna edit some of this youtube video and then i need to get ready to go i need to leave here by like six o'clock and it is 4 55 now i uh my makeup i need to probably redo that as well i'm only gonna do like minimal makeup tonight and then i think i'm gonna throw my hair up in a high pony so like low maintenance but i do need to figure out a new outfit because i'm not gonna wear the vest and sweatshirt and jean combo that i was wearing earlier to dinner i think i'm gonna do like a dress with these fun cowboy boots that i just got from steve madden so we shall see but i need to get going i'm just like out of it i have been walking around all day so i'm literally so tired but i need to snap back into it and hopefully this boosts my energy because i also think there's some sugar in this so maybe it'll be like a little pick me up okay i'm getting ready to leave but i want to do a hook out for the night before i left sorry for the really shitty lighting but this blazer i'm pretty sure is misguided dress is zara it's like this long sleeve brown number that i've had for a couple of years now i'm wearing this purse i think it's from shein from a while ago and then Steve Madden cowboy boots. I just felt like this is such a fun outfit for dinner tonight. We're going to La Picor Bianca in Nomad. They have a bunch of different locations, but I think Nomad was the only one that like was in between everyone and that we could get to easily. So this is the outfit of the night. I'm very excited. I feel like it ended up working out so well. I was kind of nervous how it was gonna turn out, but I think it all worked out. Also doing a ponytail tonight because I can't be bothered with my hair, so I'm gonna head out now. I wanna go ahead and officially end off this vlog here because I don't think I'm gonna vlog at dinner. I'm just gonna spend time with my friends. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you are new around here and you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye.